The number one thing that primary care providers can do better is to test for urine albumin. Primary care providers have really learned EGFR well. Nearly every primary care provider I talk to can cite the GFR stages, one through five, but the message about the importance of urine albumin is what has been missed over the last 10 years since the 2013 guidelines. I think most of our clinicians know that an EGFR less than 60 defines chronic kidney disease, and the lower the GFR, the worse the CKD is. For albuminuria, the number's 30, and higher and higher beyond 30 is worsening stages of albuminuria. So albuminuria is the microalbumin test that clinicians uh, often measure typically in diabetes. But what we've learned is that it is probably the most important determining factor for progression of chronic kidney disease and is also a major risk factor for cardiovascular disease. And so what our clinicians need to do is to not just order the urine albumin. We've been taught that we should do this in persons with diabetes, but the part that's missing is that we can be testing in, in many other populations, particularly persons with hypertension, anyone with cardiovascular disease or heart failure. And then we really should be testing in anyone who might have high risk for chronic kidney disease. That could be family history. That could be um, persons with known genetic factors or in occupations that are at high risk for kidney disease. So to stage chronic kidney disease, we need both the, the estimated GFR and albuminuria. So then the question is, who should we be testing? And so we believe that not only should we be testing persons with diabetes, but also people with hypertension, cardiovascular disease, heart failure, and then any other uh, individual that might be at high risk for chronic kidney disease. So I think we really need to enforce that message. And I'll explain why that's important, not just for diagnosis, but also for treatment selection and prioritizing patients for more intensive interventions.